Hello everyone. The other day I read a review of the Jessica Jones series that Netflix uh, dropped on everybody back in November. Uh, this is pretty late to the game, but it did raise an interesting point. And it's a point that others have raised as well. And that is, where were the other Marvel characters during the Jessica Jones events? Well, we can easily explain away the Avengers-level heroes uh, of all, uh, you know, first string, second string, all, the, all of them. They're busy dealing with global-scale events. Now, that means things like alien invasions and politics and things like that, or they're busy with the crap that's going on in their own lives like Iron Man versus the Mandarin, or uh, Thor versus Loki, um, whatever the Hulk is up to off in wherever he's at right now, um, dealing with coming into their powers, uh, dealing with training new members of their teams, uh, all sorts of things. They're busy doing other things. And that's a good reason not to deal with the event, events that are largely contained to Hell's Kitchen, it, which is a relatively small neighborhood in the middle of a fairly large city. Um, even so, if they did become aware of what's going on, they might choose to get involved. But it's not clear how they would even necessarily become aware of what was going on. Kilgrave was pretty good at covering his tracks for a lot of years, or he would have been caught at some point. Uh, somebody would have managed to beat his control and, or been far enough away that they managed to notice what was going on and contact people that could do something about it. That clearly did not happen, which means that Kilgrave is reasonably good at covering his tracks. Now, his power, mind control, makes that a lot easier, but it, uh, you know, over that length of time, uh, with that many people, there's a good chance that he would have run into somebody who would have known the right questions to ask. Now, it's possible he didn't, but either way, he was good at covering his tracks. That's the point. So, pretty much nobody knows Kilgrave exists. So, why would anyone be suspicious that anything other than a mundane cause is behind a rash of suicides and self-harm in and around Hell's Kitchen? Even if it takes place over a compressed time frame. Uh, that would be something that would be, uh, even if it's foul play, they would generally assume that the local authorities would look into it and deal with it, because it would likely have a mundane cause. And the local authorities are, in fact, investigating some of these events. So, uh, you know, there's no particular reason that people on the outside would even necessarily be aware that anything untoward is going on. Certainly not until late in the game, uh, to the point where it would be clear that there's already people on the ground dealing with it. You know, Jessica and her group. Okay, so that explains why outsiders like the Avengers wouldn't be getting involved. And that would include S.H.I.E.L.D. as well, because they'd be looking at the same sources of information from the same external perspective. So it's likely that S.H.I.E.L.D. wouldn't be involved either, although S.H.I.E.L.D. themselves might have information on Jessica and her powers. They're not, still not likely to know about Kilgrave, for the same reasons that the Avengers wouldn't. Now, S.H.I.E.L.D. would be more plausible as an intervener in this case, but, again, they have to know there's something to intervene in, and it would have to be more critical than whatever else they've got their resources committed to at the time. Okay, so that's the external interveners explained away. That doesn't explain why Daredevil wasn't involved at all. Well, 
it's possible he could have been aware that something was going on. But he's just been busy dealing with Kingpin, at this point anyway. And it's not clear necessarily that that's even completely dealt with. I'm not, I'm a little bit fuzzy on the timeline. But it's not that long after anyway. And besides, Daredevil has a day job as a lawyer. He's busy dealing with other things. And he's also aware of certain other things that are going on um, with a certain shadowy organization. And he's probably busy dealing with that. Now, Daredevil, or Matt Murdock, he's probably aware of Jessica Jones since she is a private investigator. Uh, and he, he's probably aware of some of her exploits, but just because she's mixed up in something, it doesn't mean that he's going to immediately assume there's something untoward going on. She's clearly going to be getting in trouble through the, her day job uh, just as a matter of course on occasion. And I believe that uh, the events of Jessica Jones take place over a relatively short period of time with a couple of possible time gaps in the middle somewhere. So it's not, it, it, it's not clear what would even bring the situation to Daredevil's attention. Um, there's a rash of suicide-type things and self-harm, but those don't look particularly suspicious uh, on the outside. And if Daredevil himself is preoccupied with other events, he wouldn't be able to look into them carefully anyway. And he would probably be assuming that the uh, proper authorities would be investigating such suspicious events. By the time he might become aware that something significant is going on, well, he wouldn't have the information to know where to turn up to deal with things, to help out or whatever. He isn't psychic. Uh, he can't magically get from one place to another instantly. He has to travel there uh, by mundane means, just like Jessica and her people do. So... He would have to know where he's going and when. He'd have to have some reason to be going there to get involved. And throughout the, the course of Jessica Jones, I don't see any particular reason that he would necessarily get involved. So I, there's no, no reason to assume that he should even know that anything is going on. He'll be busy dealing with his own stuff, and not looking to borrow trouble. Now, it's possible he might have stumbled into something somewhere along the way, and that could have happened off-screen, and we didn't see it. I suspect this upcoming season of Daredevil, will, uh, which is uh, coming out this week, uh, will uh, address what's gone on in the meantime uh, somewhat, and uh, it may answer some of the questions, of what was Daredevil up to while... Jessica's crap was going down and it may clarify the timeline somewhat and and I think that would be uh, uh, useful but basically uh, everybody's dealing with their own stuff so there's no particular reason they even necessarily are aware of what other people's stuff is uh, they're not necessarily going to have the details um, and given that these hero types, the local hero types, anyway, like Daredevil and so on, are fairly secretive about just what they can do and what they're up to, it's quite reasonable that they don't know what each other is up to. And given that a lot of these villains are either fairly respectable people publicly or are uh, very good at covering their tracks it's quite reasonable that somebody not directly involved won't realize there's something going on until it's too late, until it's actually been dealt with. Um, and consider, uh, I'm assuming you've seen Jessica Jones here, but uh, consider how long it took to actually track Kilgrave down and to pin down what was actually going on, how much effort that took. And that was from people that knew about him in the first place. So, 
expecting the other characters to somehow magically know what's going on and know to turn up is a little bit crazy. So it's not really all that far-fetched that these other characters that that are uh, off to, you know, in, in their own part of this shared universe that Jessica Jones and the other Marvel characters inhabit, uh, it's not surprising that these characters wouldn't be all up in each other's business like that. Now, it does go the other way as well. Uh, why don't Daredevil and Jessica Jones and those people show up in the um, uh, other direction? Uh, and some thinking about it, you can come up with plausible reasons there too. If they don't show up in a particular big event that you that happens in their own backyard, maybe they are part of the action, but they're part of the action that's off screen. Remember, we're only following the main characters through a battle. Uh, say the uh, invasion over New York, it, it was significant, yes. And the battle took place over a large area. And we only saw the actions of our main characters. There had to be a great many other conflicts going on on the fringes of that action, given the sheer number of combatants that arrived. So if there were other heroes rattling around in the city at the time, Odds are they got caught up in secondary action and as a result wouldn't necessarily have got to the main battle. And plus you have the transportation issue of getting there. Um, the main characters happen to be right there at the epicenter when the invasion arrived because they had a means to be there and they knew it was coming. Um, or they suspected it was coming, and, but they had a way to get there and to respond. Someone who doesn't have a transportation network underwritten by a multi-billionaire is going to have a hard time getting there, especially if they can't fly. So even if Daredevil had been active during that invasion, it's quite reasonable that he wouldn't have shown up during that battle. He would likely have been busy with Fallout in Hell's Kitchen. The same goes for Jessica Jones, if she'd even given a shit at the time, which is pretty clear she didn't. Um, so there's that. But even if they could make it, a case could be made for them staying and dealing with their local neighborhood and letting the top string A-listers deal with the major threat and keeping the little crap off their backs. Dealing with crowd control and things like that is important, uh, as important as the main battle, especially if you want to save lives. So it does make perfect sense, even if these characters happen to be in the area, that they wouldn't necessarily show up on screen. And this gives you a great way to save both screen time and budget. And here's the thing, you don't even have to mention it on screen. If at some point the fact that a character was in the secondary action at a particular event becomes relevant, it can be mentioned as an offside remark or something at that point in time. Or some sort of a flashback could be implemented or any number of things like that. But basically, you don't need to bludgeon everybody with this sort of thing. It really falls uh, largely, if it's done properly, into a fridge logic category where you realize that it actually makes sense to, at some level, when you get to the fridge after you've watched the story. So basically, it's not necessarily problematic or an error when a character from another part of the uh, shared universe doesn't show up in a situation where you think they probably should. Uh, there's a number of possible reasons. It can be explained if it ever becomes important to know that. 
and it can be explained usually without breaking continuity at all. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, it's not necessarily a low point that you don't have tight crossover events continually between these various aspects of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, I've gone on long enough on this particular topic. Um, I may do further videos on similar uh, topics uh, in the future. Uh, if you want to be notified of uh, future videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you've watched this long, thanks for watching.